Hello, my name is Jessica Iverson, and this is my little nugget, Benson Bucket. And I just got fired last week, so something snapped in my head, and I said, fuck it. I'm going to show people, I'm going to do the right thing, and I'm going to show people, fuck these big businesses on weight loss. I know how to lose weight. I've done it over and over and over again. I did it for my senior prom. I did it for senior pictures. I did it right now. I just, I'm working on it right now. Right now, I'm semi fat lard is where I'm at. And I'm going to show you how to go from fat lard to semi fat lard to perfect in a very short amount of time doing it the way I do it. It's none of this bullshit. You don't have to pay for it. I'm putting it on YouTube. I'm making it public. I'm a young mother. I did this myself. I learned myself. I was sitting here just like you, searching YouTube videos. Like, please, somebody show me an easy way to lose weight that doesn't suck. The reason that people don't want to stick to diets and things like that is because it's hard and the food doesn't taste good. So why are you going to want to keep doing it? I don't know. You're not. You're going to get fat. You're going to be a fat lard again, just like I was. So, today is the day you need to get off your fat lard ass, accept it, own it. Be like, you know, today is changing the way America looks at weight loss. That's what we're doing today. We want to change the way America looks at weight loss. Why, why do you have to keep it off for life? Why do you have to do it like that? Why does it have to be a lifestyle change? Why does it have to be, why does it either have to be you're fat or you're skinny? Why does it have to be like that? See, lovers, <laughs> see, I don't agree with that. I get fat for Christmas. Fuck it. You got to have a fuck it mentality. Otherwise, you're not going to be happy. I get fat for Christmas. Fuck it. Nobody judges me. People love me when I'm done. And then when I look good, they're like, hey, Jessica, what did you? how did you do it? You guys need to own your insecurities. And I'm all about today. I'm going Charlie Sheen status. And I'm owning my crazy. I'm owning my crazy in a good way. I'm owning it today. And I'm going to show you guys the most delicious recipes. I'm going to show you recipes, the best way to cook vegetables. I used to work at, I worked every job you could imagine. My first job, oh, I worked at a convenience store. I worked at a nursing home. I worked at Pizza Hut. I worked at tons of restaurants. I was a waitress. I loved waitressing. Um, I, I was a host before, seen behind the, the scenes prep work. I mean, this is something that everybody needs to know. The big businesses don't tell you. When you order a nice steaming hot plate of steamed vegetables, they're cooked in a microwave most of the time. I can show you how to cook your vegetables in a microwave under $10, the best way to cook your food, and it tastes better than on the stove. I've cooked it on the stove. I've, I've boiled it on the stove. I've steamed it on the stove. I tried it in the oven. I tried it on the George Foreman. Maybe we'll try, you know, to get the crispy vegetables. You want the most delicious, crispy, steamed vegetables? It's in the microwave, and I can show you how. I got fat in college. Um, this is the very first month, and I started to lose it. I started looking good. I kept it off for almost an entire year, and then... You know, I ended up having a kid, and I ballooned. I definitely let myself go. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to teach you how to make simple, easy, um, Asian stir-fry vegetables in your kitchen. Easy as shit, people. Easy as shit. So, a few things you're going to need. A microwave-safe container. You can use any any brand as long as it's microwave safe. Sweet chili sauce, any brand. You get it in the Asian section of any supermarket. And salt, a bag of stir fry. That is all you need. And you will have the most amazing Asian stir fry in your home that you've ever made yourself. Restaurant quality, I'm not joking. All you need, uh, this is way under $10, all these ingredients. It cost me less than $2, this bag of vegetables. This, for a pack of like four, is like under $5. This is under four, under $5. I think it's like three three something, two something. This is like two something for a whole huge thing of salt. You'll never have to buy this for like two months. Well, salt, salt will last you probably the whole year. You won't have to buy this for like two or three months if you eat a, a ton of vegetables. So, let's get to it. First things first, you take your black container. I'm not doing any camera tricks. I was going to do some 
The only camera tricks I'm going to do is cutting out time. I was going to do camera tricks, you know, whatever. I'm not going to. I'm just going to show you how easy, how easy it is. You take your bag of vegetables and you dump about half of it out into the bowl. Um, you want like that much left over. You can use any brand of stir-fry vegetables. This is just a simple stir-fry. You can use any kind of stir-fry. Deluxe stir-fry, broccoli stir-fry, asparagus stir-fry, any kind of stir-fry medley. Any stir-fry vegetable medley or Asian vegetable medley you can use. And it's just as good. It's easy. It's simple. So you take your um, Tupperware container, make sure you got a microwave safe one, and then you secure the lid on. Don't put any salt, don't add anything to this. Don't put any water, nothing. That's all you need. No water, just frozen vegetables in a bowl. And I'll show you the next step soon. All right, so you take your stir fry vegetables, just nothing but stir fry vegetables in a bucket, or in a microwave safe container, and put it in the microwave. You wanna put it in for five minutes. Let it go. Keep an eye on, well, don't, I'll show you next. I'll show you. So while this is microwaving, I'm just gonna be completely vulnerable and completely honest. This is my body, this is what I have, this is what I've got from my son. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna show people. I'm semi-fat lard right now. Take it or leave it. This is my stomach right now. I have like ridiculous, disgusting loose skin. And it's gonna go away and look disgusting when I'm done. But you have to say fuck it because you're gonna look good with clothes on and people aren't gonna know. I'm married, my husband doesn't give a shit about my insecurities and he loves me no matter what. So you have to own your insecurities and you have to know, you know what? I'm gonna get thin and I'm gonna look damn good with clothes on and when I can afford a tummy tuck, I'm gonna get it. And you just watch, I'm gonna afford one through this. Watch. And I'll show you, I will take you through every step in my life to make it easier for you because it works for me. I know it can work for other people. So now we're waiting for a pop on the vegetables. After about like two minutes, you're gonna hear a pop because the gladware is gonna start to, um, I don't know, the steam is gonna start to escape. These are gonna be perfect steamed vegetables. I'm telling you, perfect. You wanna wait for a pop. This is, this is my dirty microwave. There was that pop. So you need to stop it, take it out and shake it. And I'm gonna show you right now. I'm sitting on the floor in front of my dirty microwave. Okay? Take it out and you do this. You should shake them up. You wanna distribute the heat evenly. Then you put it in for the rest of the time. And guess what? Your shit's gonna jiggle. When you're on the road, when you're on the path to success, it's gonna fucking jiggle. Get over it. It's gonna go away. You can't let your insecurities get in the way of fixing it. Come on, that'd be stupid. So now we're just waiting for the microwave to finish the vegetables, and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so right now it's just about done in the microwave. We got a couple seconds left. All right, now we're done. Now, try not to get motion sickness while I do this. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. Hey, Jess, grab me the stir fry vegetables. Grab me the stuff out of the kitchen, out of the microwave. Okay, ignore my semi-fat, uh, don't mind my semi-fat lard. It's all right, it'll go, it'll go. Girls, if you have this stuff from a baby, you need a tummy tuck. There's no fixing this, no creams. I've done it too many times. You, I can't fix it. I know that there's no fixing it, but uh, very hot. Be very handled with care. When it's completely done, you wanna do this one more time. You're gonna completely evenly distribute the heat. What this does is heats it perfectly, just like it doesn't let very many nutrients escape because it heats it so hot so fast. That's what a microwave does is it makes water mo molecules um, rub together, it creates friction between water. So really high heat, really, really fast, that will um, give you nice, firm, delicious, perfect steamed vegetable. And it's going to give you none of that sogginess. And none of those, hardly any of those nutrients are gonna escape. So what we're gonna do is drain all the water. And you don't have to worry about too many nutrients escaping because it was heated so fast that it didn't dilute all of those nutrients into the water. You can tell because when you 
cook on a stove and you boil and you drain that water, it will be drenched with color. It will be bright green or it will be whatever color vegetable, it will be so full of cover, color because all those nutrients are in the water. But when you heat it so fast in the microwave, all of those nutrients stay inside. So when I drain this, it's barely even green in the water. You really do need to drain it though. That's one of the most important things because when you add your salt, when you add your salt, um, the more water, the more salt you need, the higher your blood pressure, that. So take out that water because that water is gonna absorb that salt and soak it right up. You don't want that. So first things first, we just drain it. See how clear that water is? I don't know if you probably can't see it actually, but it's really clear water, really clear. There is hardly any nutrients escaping this method. Sorry restaurants, you're gonna hate me. Hopefully nobody takes this video down because of it. You're gonna love this. So now what you wanna do is just get a nice amount of salt in your palm, probably about that much. And you just pinch as much as your finger and thumb can fit, as much as you can fit and you go, you want about five heavy pinches. And then the rest of it, it's so cheap, I throw it away. So cheap, I throw it away. And then, now that that's done, all you need is a big spoon, a big metal spoon, and you take any brand of sweet chili sauce, any brand from the Asian store, the Asian section, Take your sweet chili sauce and you take two big metal tablespoons like so, nice and big, but not too much because this a little really does go a long way. That's all you'll need for this amount of vegetables because of the salt. You already flavored it. Now, when that's done, you put the lid back on and the same thing. Make sure you distribute all the salt. Distribute all of the juices everywhere. Just get it really good, nice and distributed. Make sure you shake it really, really well. And when you put it on a plate or a bowl, look how beautiful this looks. It looks restaurant quality. You would never know if they serve this on your plate, you would love it. And you will love it, just try it. What do you have to lose, five minutes? five minutes in your microwave and less than $10, please try it. Please try it. I want everybody to know this is how I make my vegetables. This is how my friends make their vegetables now because it's so easy. And look, it's sweet, it's moist, it's better than what you're gonna get in a restaurant. Microwave, tales of the dirty microwave, girl. I live in a trailer. I will show you, I will make everything cheap look good. I make it look good. I will show you right now. This beautiful kitchen, I live in a trailer park. I prove it, come on. Come with me, America. I don't give a shit anymore. Well, let's go. Look at this is my beautiful living room. I make cheap look good. We go to thrift stores, live in a trailer. Are you kidding? You never know. I make it look good and so can you. Cheap is sexy as long as you make it sexy and I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna show you all my secrets. Everything. What do you have to lose? Under five fucking dollars and a bunch of weight? Let's go. Come on world, let's go. All right, so I brought my friend Jessica over. Look, it's the same plate I just showed you and she's gonna try it for the first time and just be give me an honest opinion, that's all. I'm not paying her shit, it'd be cool. If I had the money to pay you to do this, but what do you think? Wait. Restaurant quality? Bomb. Try it for real. I don't have to tell you more than once. You're gonna love it. Good. Huh? Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you guys, I have a kick-ass, amazing, easy, dirty microwave mm -hmm. recipe for cheesy bacon doing? broccoli. It is so easy, it is so good, and it is so low calorie. All you need for the base is one slice of processed cheese. And it's so good. I did this myself. I was looking for somebody on YouTube to show this to me, and I'm showing you because I had to figure it out myself. It's easy, you're in college, you wanna lose weight? Easy when it tastes good. Salt's your friend. Salt is your friend. Love ya. Tell me what you think, for real. If it's not the best vegetables you've ever had, don't ever eat it again.